principle of accepting the attacker or the attack is very important. So in Aikido, when we want to accept the attack, what do we do? Well, you don't reject it. Right? To reject it is kind of slap it away, push it away, meet force with force. But you don't want to receive it either, right? Because when you receive it, you get slapped around and there's, again, a force beats force. So what is accepting somewhere in between? It, so let's, let's think about this from a Rio Kappa Bodhi. So he's got both shoulders, and he's trying. This is a hard, hard attack for us because he's not trying to push me, and he's trying to control me. I can't move. So when I, if I fight this, push. Oh, he's got me. So think of yourself as having an energy of surrounding you. You're in a field of energy as he comes. You see how I have my energy here? He can push. He can pull. I can move, he can try to hold me steady. I can turn, push. Oh, I think I will go. No, I think I will pull. Pull. Oh, I think we'll turn. Just keeping it soft. I'm accepting the attack, and yet we're one. Okay, so once you accept their energy, their attack, you can move with it. Now, this Ryo Kata Dori, we use this a lot on uh, Rondori. Because once you get two or three people on you, you're really stuck, you're messed up, so you have to move freely, you have to accept. But we also need to be able to move them and throw them. So we'll work on a few basic controlling techniques. Yeah. Got me. I'm connected. I'm connected. This is just one person. We'll go ahead and stay connected. So we're going to start with him holding instead of before here. This is hard work. I don't have to have these hands here, by the way. I'm connected. How do you connect? Thank you. Going down. Connect. So, things to watch. If you try to go down before you can, you just made him really strong. So he's strong. Are you still strong? Still so Oh, right there he's weak. Right? There's a moment just as, because he, he wasn't aware that he latched on to a moving object. So he thinks, oh, as soon as I move it, there's a space that I can catch him. Drop that elbow. Shall we try Kantai Hijio Touch? A couple of uh, fine points here. A lot of people are turning at their center. Well, he's controlling this. I'm on the line of force. So I'm going to set a hinge here, out just outside his hand. So I, now that I hinged here, he's moving around me. Now I hug this. I embrace it like it's a child. Here's, like, he's a mean guy, and here's a baby. I save the baby. <laughs> I'm cradling the baby. Pivot here. Now it's coming along with me. Not here, over there. Keep your focus. It's coming. Rock the bye, baby. Still rocking the baby. All right, that was the hard way to do it. Static. We have to go the hard way so that we get it precise, right? Connect, accept the energy, make a good turn, embrace the attack. In motion, you have to have timing as well, but you don't have to be, you know, quite as perfect, right? There's a little more slack. So he's coming to grab me. Thank you. He comes. Yes. This is Makio Tosh. 
can't do this if he's got straight arms. This is more, he's here, he's got a good grip. To my chest. If he's grabbing like this, it's going to be hard to go that way, but you bring it to your chest. Now you move your body that way. Because he wanted, if he's holding this way, this is easier for him to acknowledge. So, Makiotosh. Please. If his arms are straighter, not, not fully straight necessarily, but straighter, this is harder to do, right? But, you know, that was a certain circumstance. Now, we can still do the one we were doing, but there's a very classic art that we can do here. I'm still going to move myself in this direction, drop, and turn. So instead, it may just be that kind of fall. In motion, it might be a forward fall. But let me, he's not going to let me move. He doesn't have a choice because because I'm one with him, we I move freely, right? Drop that. So here, here, here. This is called Zempo Kaiten Nage because it resembles a Kaiten, but don't try to raise up this elbow. So don't try to <clears throat> you see that's not accepting his attack again. Right? Here I've accepted it, thank you. Thank you. Dropping this. It looks like I'm raising. I'm just following. It's all from the hips. Unlike the first one, we're not just pivoting here. We're sliding. As I slide, then I pivot. And then this hand is coming across. across. That puts him in a rotation like this. Now, when we do it in motion, you're just sort of sliding and trying to ride the elbow down. We're on the inside this time. So I want you to sort of attack the line with your harmony. Okay, come in your breath. Sometimes you need to keep going this way. Get out of the way of God. So now let's put that from static. Because it's an interesting art here. So he's holding, he's still not going to let me go anywhere. Remember how accepting we are? Thank you. So if I put any force into this, he'll stop me cold. But this, I'm going to leave here and I'll walk over here. Now by leaving it there and walking over there, this happens. If I push it, then he'll become unbendable. But if I leave it here and he's attached and walk over, look what happens. So that's the mechanics of it. If I push, he will, I will never move. If I leave it there, walk over, it collapses. A wonderful thing. What's, what's this other side doing? It's coming here with the elbow down and cutting down. The more effective we do them both together. So look for ways to accept the attack. Don't reject it. Don't receive it. Don't get bowled over by it. Connect. Find a center to the to the unit that you've become. And then steer it gently. Right? If you do this in your car, you crash. <laughs> you know? So why are we doing this in our Aikido? Right? Why not small movements? And then, you know, if you're going slow enough, yeah, maybe you hand over hand in a car. Static, maybe it becomes motion, maybe it's just a little. Okay? 